Hello everybody, Smyrna Cowboy here. Today is March the 1st, the first day of March at uh, 1.47 in the afternoon. Turned out to be a real pretty day today, so I'm going to do a little do a little errand running and share some news and give you some shout outs and all sorts of informative information today. I know you're on the edge of your seat, so you may want to Pause it for a second, get a lunch, and sit by the monitor and uh, just <laughs> and just look and listen to the video here. <laughs> well, first off, I'd like to thank all my newest viewers. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it very much. I don't know why you did, but uh, glad to have you on board. I'm just an old. Tennessee guy just uh, pooting around on my scoot and trying to live life to the fullest is all I can do. Uh, thanks everybody for uh, voting on the V570 and the Votto. It turned out the, v the uh, Votto got one more vote than the 570, but I'm using the V570 today. I think what I'll do is I'll uh, just switch them up and uh, just like a um, I didn't say it before because I cut the video off, but this helmet, this Fulmer helmet is extra large and I got such a big bucket head that after a while it really hurts my uh, forehead. So I can't very well vlog for any length of time in this helmet, but uh, I can vlog for, you know, the 10 minute, 10 minute thing that uh, we post on YouTube for, for videos there. So using that one today I'm heading out to the uh, doctor's office well doing some errands and going to the doctor's office and going to the chiropractor I've been having some problems um, I think I um, on one of my videos I had a crick in my neck well it turned out to be a bulging disc and uh, I've been taking medication muscle relaxers and stuff and it just keeps on bothering everything so I'm gonna go back in and uh, see what else that they can do for it even riding a bike it sort of uh, hurts my uh, shoulder and arm there. But I'm going to go there today to see if there's anything else that uh, they can do. Hopefully I won't have to have any type of surgery or anything. Uh, so I'm doing that. Doing that today. And, uh, and thanks for the comments on the um, thing that I made my wife for her glasses of her, of her nose surgery, I thought it was I thought it was pretty cool. Even the uh, we went back to get her stitches taken out, and I made a DVD of that uh, of the movie on YouTube. I just uh, cut it down, uh, edited out you know the some parts of it, just the gist of the video, and uh, he was really impressed with it. He's a cool doctor, and come to find out, uh, this doctor he rides a Vespa to work. He work. He lives about uh, two and a half miles from his office, so he has a Vespa 250, I think he said he was, and he's a pretty good sized man, so uh, he asked me all sorts of questions about the Bergman, and uh, I thought that was really cool, and uh, he thought the eyeglass invention was very in innovative. He was very impressed by it, so I left him the video if anybody else wanted to do that for their loved one having the same type of surgery more than welcome to take that idea and run with it uh, I don't expect to make millions of dollars from it but uh, uh, it's just something that I've thought up for my wife and it may be beneficial to anybody else that's had that type of surgery to uh, make life a little bit easier so I thought I would uh, give that to him there I like to do some shout outs here too and I'll tell you a little story behind one. Uh, I went into this Walgreens. I'll show you. Uh, I was going to turn in there and give you a better view. But that Walgreens right there. Uh, I was looking for some cotton swabs for my wife's uh, medication she had to put on her nose. You know, the long ones that, that uh, didn't, the cotton didn't peel off as bad. So I asked the lady in there if uh, she knew if she had one, and I had my riding gear on, and her name is Tracy, by the way. Shout-outs to Tracy that works at Walgreens. 
uh, and she asked me, you look like the Smyrna uh, gentleman or Smyrna rider or something on YouTube. I said, the Smyrna Cowboys? She goes, yeah, well, yeah, that's me. And she just liked to went berserk. She started, oh, you're, are you really all? And stuff like that. Oh, and I got 18 shades of red. And it was so cool. And uh, she said, I'm, she saw her, she didn't have a camera so she could take a picture with her and the Smyrna Cowboy. And I thought that was just, oh man, I just, like I said, I just, I felt my face start to fluster and turn all 12 shades of red. She was a nice young lady. She looked like she's 21, you know, really, really young girl. And uh, I was, I was really flattered by all that uh, hoopla. So I thought that was, I thought that was pretty cool. And yes, I was really embarrassed by it. And uh, I'd like to do a shout out to Mountain Bliss for You. That's Tracy in Bakersfield, California. She, we've been corresponding back and forth here for a while, and her and her husband live out there in Bakersfield. And she just bought herself a 2003 Bergman 650, and she's had all sorts of questions about the stuff that I put on mine and what I do for maintenance. And I was been more than happy to answer those questions for. Her. And uh, she got a real good deal on that, and she's uh, putting some farkles on it now. Probably ran her visa bill up to the limit. I'd like to do a shout out to her and her husband down there in uh, Bakersfield, California. She's a massage therapist. She has a uh, uh, page on YouTube. I'll put that. I'll put that link up there right now. So I'd like to do some shout outs to her. I'd like to do a shout out to Gretsch Blues Drummer. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. He's another Smyrna Knight that lives here in Smyrna. Uh, he just bought himself a, a Vespa. Uh, 300 EI, I believe it is, a 2010 model. Uh, here's a picture of it right here for you. And as soon as he uh, gets his motorcycle endorsement, and uh, we'll maybe do some riding together. So you may see some vlogs of Gretsch Blues Drummer and I in the very near future. I got a little bit of news about work. I was bumped to the night crew, which really sucks. Uh, nights is uh, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. So I got bumped to there last Friday night, so I, so I had to do uh, three days in a row of nights, which like to kill me, trying to get adjusted to that. And that's really hard to do, since you've, I haven't worked nights in five years. So I'm starting to slowly get adjusted to it. So if you see me post a video at 2.10 in the morning, you'll know that, <laughs> you'll know that, uh, I'm up doing all that stuff because it's my day off. I try to keep the same sleep schedule on my days off than I do while I'm working. So yeah, that pretty much sucks. But 